Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy, and we are here on the actual Stardew Valley Wiki. I have my screen set to uh, screen capture, and uh, the reason why is because in this episode I am starting with mods. So I wanted to go ahead and go over the mod thing with you guys and and how to install it instead and stuff. Um, the first thing you'll need to go is go to the wiki. And then uh, on the wiki, if I uh, bring up the main page here just to show you guys, if you scroll down to right here, it says modding. You just click on that, and then click on the players get started guide. But let's do that again. Go down. Let's open that up again. Modding. This is the index, and uh, somewhere in here should be getting started using mods. Just click on that, and it'll take you straight to here. That's where we're at on this page. Okay, and then on this page, there'll be a spot that says install SMAPI, which is the uh, Stardew Valley mod, um, kind of like software that controls and, and makes sure that mods behave themselves um, and there should be a link to the most recent you want to click here if you're a Windows if you use one of these other ones make sure you uh, click on that and then in here it'll have a link like right here that says to the latest version which will take you to here and the latest version right now is 3.0.1 alright you'll download this and then you'll install it the, uh, the, the thing will come open it'll download this file for you you'll, you'll extract that file and then there'll be an installer in that file and then you'll install that and it'll install into your actual um, game file. It automatically do all that for you. The instructions for that is right here. And then if you use Steam, continue to the next section. Under Steam, you'll need to go to here, come down to Stardew Valley, and you'll need to right click and go to properties. And then under properties here, there's launcher options here. And you'll enter that thing in there. If I go if I go back here, let's let's minimize this again. Yeah, go to properties in general, launcher options, and then you'll copy the phrase, the command phrase, and then uh, replace anything in the text with the text you copied from the installer. So there you go. So in this, the installer will tell you what to put in there. All right. So. Do that, then click OK for changes, and then from now on, when you press play in Steam, it will it will run Stardew Valley with mods. All right, that's what this does for you. You can also um, open Stardew Valley from the actual SM API, uh, and uh, you can also start the game that way. And if you want to run the game without mods, so we're clear on this one, you come in here, you go to Stardew Valley, and you go to Manage, and then Browse Local Files here. That will bring up a file here, and you'll just come down to where it says Stardew Valley, and you just double-click this right here. You can also copy this to your... Uh, desk and then put it unmodded on it and then that'll tell you to just start this one up for just the unmodded version all right but that's how you play unmodded there and then you this one here is for the modded version so you double click this for the modded version so you, you can actually just put these both of these on your main uh, like in a little file by themselves on your main desktop and uh, they'll be right there for you um, after you do that, I closed that out. I didn't need to. After you do that, you'll want to come in here, 
and you'll want to go and go to browse fi local files and then you'll want to find this after you've installed the SM API you want to find this you want to double click this these right here are all the mods that I will be using in the game um, this, these are the ones I use I don't use any ones other than these if you have a suggestion for me to use a different mod make sure you put it in the description um, I am going to leave a link in the description down below to the actual mod list on the actual wiki that that links to the actual um, page for the mod developer themselves on uh, Nexus mods so wherever wherever they've decided to put on the wiki for their thing that's where that leads so I'm gonna bring that up for you right here so after you've done this come back to your getting started guide and uh, there should be a mod compatibility list right here there's a link uh, it says before you download mods, does it work with the latest version of the game for the SM API mods? Check the list. I'm going to right click this and open this in another screen. It will automatically disable most incompatible SM API mods. Uh, if you use another type of mods, it may not. It may. It just depends. And also do not download from other places. All right. Like like this Stardew Valley mod net thing. Don't download from other places only download from places that are authorized by the actual mod dev themselves all right so if we open up this list here this is the compatibility list with SM, SM API and it'll tell you usually what version it's updated for right here if it's not listed here you can actually open it let's go to the uh, automated one that I'm, I'm using just as an example automate here you can see it's used latest version but there's no version history thing but if we right click here and we open the page here this leads straight to the Nexus mods page and you can you can see the creator was Panthus Child this was uploaded by Panthus Child it's been scanned virus safe and the upload date and all that kind of stuff if you scroll down to here usually somewhere on here it'll say right here compatibility compatibility with 1.4 later that's what you want to make sure that that it, it is compatible with 1.4 later and uh, then you can use it one once you've confirmed that it's it's compatible with the 1.4 update you want to come up here to files and I don't use the Nexus mod downloader I just manually download so you just click this it'll download a little file it takes like maybe two seconds you'll you'll come down here and click to open that and then you'll extract that and it just 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 click the file then extract that and it'll extract that into another file now if you if you're if your PC some PCs don't come with this if your PC doesn't have an extraction uh, file or a program that extracts you'll have to get one of those and I'm not gonna leave any links to those uh, you can get them off of the actual Windows Store. Um, um, just be careful. Be very careful when you're getting the extraction uh, tool. Uh, make sure you're getting one that's reputable and that you know other people that use that that and it's safe without viruses in it. Um, I'm not want ads on my mint. Thank you. Um, but anyway. Once you've extracted that file, there's two ways you can do this. Now I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna do this just to show you guys. You hit download here. It'll download to this little spot down here. Oh, you hit save. I've already done it, so it'll it, it'll probably pop up saying you already have one. Uh, you'll click on that. Click on this and hit extract all. It'll it'll say extract it'll open up a second window this is the one you want to click on this now you can right click and hit copy or you can just drag the whole thing over to the other file so the other file would be this one that you already have open that's at your mod folder and if you did copy it you can right click and make sure you don't have a file selected just right click over here and hit paste and it'll put it in here if you've already got a mod in here and you're updating to a new mod it'll pop up on the screen for you 
to uh, replace all the files and you'll hit replace all files all right and that'll update the mod to the, the newest version and that's how you also update just download the new file and, and just pop it in there you can also just drag it over so you can make sure you got the right one and then you can click this and then drag it over to here so click drag and then put it over here I'm not gonna do that because mine's already up to date I don't need to do that and that's how you do the mods so you want to you want to download each one of these mods all the ones that I use are updated to 1.4 get out of that now Nexus mod I have problems with that so um, make sure that you're using mods that are safe all right <laughs> ones that are trusted by the community um, I haven't had any problems with the ones that I've used on here but just just be careful all right just be careful mindful of yourself uh, just so you know the the mods themselves I will link in this video along with the actual person who made the mod I will not leave links to where to download them I will leave a link to the mod compatibility list you can get the mods from here it links straight to the page that you you that the the mod dev wants you to download them from do not download them from another source all right just so I want to be clear on that don't download them from another source only download them from where the mod dev tells you that they want you to download them from because they they receive credit for the downloads from those websites and it helps them out it helps them out a lot so just be mindful of that but uh go ahead and check these out now some of these are not updated some of them are broken so be mindful of that if it's in green usually it's updated uh, it'll say broken on it if it's broken so you won't be able to use those and uh, that's pretty much it once you've done that once you've got all the mods in that you want to mod uh, you want to make an actual um, copy of your save all right, and I think I've closed those out, so let's minimize that. Uh, so how you do that? There's, there's actually a backup uh, file that you can use. There's a um, in the SM API. There's a way to back up your your save there. Uh, but the easiest way to back up your save is go to Browse Local Files. Again, in the saves, that's the save backup there. I think it's under Content. Where is saves? No. It'll be one of these in here, and then you just find the one that's yours and uh, copy that, and then put it off to the side. Those are those are backups, though. Mm, maybe the saves are somewhere else. Hmm. Anyway, you want to you want to get the location of your save, and then you want to uh, copy that and then paste that somewhere uh, um, on your screen. Here, I uh, what you can do is just right click and then uh, hit new here and hit folder, and then uh, save back. Up. there and then enter and you just put this somewhere and then you can put all your backups in there um, it'll it'll just replace the one the previous one that you've gotten already so <clears throat> once you back up your save and you've got all the mods in that you want and you, you've made sure that they're up to date what you want to do is go ahead and go to Steam and if you did everything right once you hit play here it'll open this right and then this will run and what this will do is it'll scan your game and the mods that you that you're running see it says SMP 3.0.1 with Stardew Valley 1.4.2 for Microsoft Windows 10 now it's starting the game you have nine mods it says that I can update one mod, but I've already I've already updated to the latest version. I don't know. Apparently, they've 
they've released an update since then and then it'll open the game up for you that's how it should run if not go to the troubleshooting page and see kind of what you did wrong or backtrack what you did and then uh, go from there all right and then this will take you to this page here uh, what you want to do then is go I, I'm, I'm gonna load a game all right so we'll go ahead and load into my magsies uh, farm here and there we go that's mods are here I've got the uh, mini map that shows the NPCs on that um, I've got the X the XP mod that shows your levels and stuff you can disable that by pressing X you can switch its location by pressing shift X and make sure your cursor is where you want it to be and you just press shift X there and it moves it and then you can move it back if you want shift X back over here there you go um, I have my uh, um, no that's the item spawner I have my cheats window here uh, I'm gonna take this off uh, um, I usually play with that on. I'm going to show you guys what I usually play with. All right. So I won't be using any of these cheats besides. Uh, no, we don't want instant build either. Uh, I do want instant catch. I don't want instant bite or anything like that. I don't mind that. And I don't also don't want to always get the treasure. I don't care about that. But I hate I hate the fishing game. Uh, I really hate it. And uh, I just want to catch the fish and be done with it so that's a thing that you can do with the cheat window there's also like a fishing mod if you don't want to use the cheat window there's actually a fishing mod that will actually automatically catch fish for you I don't believe it's updated yet though so be mindful of that um, I won't be using any of these guys uh, no we won't be using that no we won't be using those uh, no friendship decay I leave that on just because it's on by default if you want to take that off it's up to you um, that's up to you you can take it off if you want you can also come in here and set ones if you want to try some stuff out on another thing we won't be using that at all uh, there's warp locations I won't be using any of this in, in the let's play um, I, I don't want to f freeze inside of caves uh, I do want freeze inside of uh, buildings because when I do my intros I can actually just not have to show that pause window I can just be in here talking to you and show the actual window itself and uh, I love that so inside of buildings I'm going to freeze time on that one there's an advanced tab here I'm, I'm, I'm just making sure there's no extra uh, cheats that are on that I need to worry about okay so there's not so I don't have any excess uh, um, movement speed or anything like that. Cool. All right. So there is, come on, there is the item spawner here. You press I. Uh, P opens up the, I'm sorry. P opens up the cheat window here. I opens up the item spawner if you want to play from the beginning with certain stuff like all the upgraded twos or something like that. It's something you can do. Um, there is a tractor mod I have in the game. Uh, there is a way that you want to do settings on that and I will show you that right here in a second um, you can read on the actual uh, Nexus mod page and it'll tell you uh, the uh, different ways to um, uh, fix the like how to how to get UIs and stuff like that some like tab here for the little mini map thing to so just open the map with M and then you press tab it opens up the mini map options here before you click yes to that let's take out of that and uh, if we actually go out of here um, we want to go to I don't know if it actually open this while the game's open but we'll, we'll try go into mods and I'll show you for tractors when you go into the actual mod folder there should be a file code that says configure that's how you configure your mods. Some of them you configure inside the game. Some of them you can't. 
uh, I, the distance most of this is default I've switched the price to 1000 because I just want to be able to get this out but I have left the build materials on and uh, this is an iron this is the code for iron and it requires 20 iron I could lower this if I wanted but 20 is fine um, I don't want to have to wait for iridium or battery packs so I want to just be able to get this out but I don't want to be able to have it from the beginning uh, there's tons of ways to make money but you kind of have to work to get iron unless you just make a lot of money and then buy the iron from from uh, the blacksmith but 20 pretty much guarantees that you're gonna have to get it you have to spend a lot of time and effort getting those 20 so you can get the tractor uh, you can adjust these prices just by changing them and then go to file and go to save uh, by default this will be 20 iron 5 iridium bars these are iron bars by the way and then I think it's one battery pack but you can just erase that if you want to add something on like you want you have a theme uh, let's play or something like that a theme run that you want to do and you want it to require certain materials you'll have to get the item code and then enter it just like this so you you put the parentheses the item code parentheses colon and then the amount so this one is 20 and then you put those materials in there and make sure they're in between these little brackets here and and I believe you want to put them down in a row down there and then it should update in the game as long as you've done this right alright so that's that once you've set everything you want by default the axe here does not cut down trees or saplings um, I want to be able to cut down trees so I have set cut down trees to true instead of false cut down grown trees you can actually set these to cut down um, fruit trees separate so it, just because it'll cut down a regular tree doesn't mean it'll cut down a fruit tree so you don't accidentally do that you also want to be careful when you're using your tractor in game you can actually set it to uh, attack mobs also and then when you can summon it to you while you're in the mines we're not going to be doing that we're not going to be using the tractor in the mines to auto mine stuff but it's something that you can do in your own let's play uh, you just hit the backspace button and it summons your tractor to you you want to know this because sometimes the tractor disappears or you leave it somewhere you don't remember where you left it at and then uh, like if you pass out somewhere or something um, and if it doesn't spawn back with you that morning, you can hit backspace to summon it where you're at. You hit backspace again to unsummon it. There's also an option here where you can just summon it without the garage, which is false for me. So also you can you can highlight the radius that it works in. I have mine set to three. Uh, I might adjust that down. I'm not sure. So we'll see by a gameplay. I'm gonna go ahead and exit this. I haven't actually changed anything. So. You can also adjust the speed inside the game. Well, that's how you adjust the actual settings themselves. Um, go into the game here. So, I think that's going to cover it for today. This is kind of a longer video. We might just leave this as the video for today. This will be linked in every future video that I do on the channel. Um, we'll start next week with mods. So Monday's episode will be with mods, and we'll be trying to set up to, uh, we're going to go full on into the mines, probably every day until we get to iron, so that we can get that set up, and uh, get the 20 uh, iron bars that we need so we can get our tractor. Um, but, anyway guys, if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, <clears throat> Don't forget to uh, set your notifications using the notification bell, and you'll get notifications when I have new videos out. You guys can come check it out, see if you like it. If you do like this episode and you want to share it with your friends, tell them that you like it. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. If you have any tips, tricks, or comments, put it in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on my social media pages. Don't forget to set your notification settings in the, for the channel using the notification bell. Um, if there's anything that I forgot about, uh, modding other other than make sure that you're downloading it from the place the mod developer wants you to download from most of the time those links are updated onto the wiki but uh, check the mod developers actual page 
for the actual location where he wants you to download it from and do not download it from other places all right um, if you're doing a let's play for yourself don't leave links to other places don't provide your own links for the mods unless you get express written permission from the mod developer themselves all right so I'll be using these mods for this let's play um, I, I hope you guys join me for it I'll see you guys later